Hey guys, hey guys, love you guys so much. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue-tastic week so far. Hope you guys are sharing anything out of your week. Hope you guys are so snowing out of your week. Hope you guys are running anything out of your week. Seize up, baby. Seize up. Chelsea Football Club for life. Seize up, baby. Seize up. Chelsea Football Club for life. It is currently very, 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 very cold out here guys it's like super duper duper cold guys it's not even funny like it's super cold out here guys love you guys so much hope you guys are staying blue hope you guys are having a blue tastic week so far hope you guys are sharing anything out of your week hope you guys are too snowing out your week hope you guys are running getting out of your week seize up baby seize up chelsea football club for life Seize up, baby. Seize up. Um, yeah. Blues for life, baby. Blues for life. Um, in today's video, we're just going to be vlogging like usual, guys. Seize up, baby. Chelsea Ball Club for life. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue tastic week so far. Hope you guys are showering ending out your week. Hope you guys are so snowing out your week. Hope you guys are running ending out your week. Um, we're just going to be vlogging, talking about random stuff, guys. Love you guys so much. Um, so, with that being said, let's get right into the video, guys. Chelsea are going to win the Premier League. I'm telling you right now, we are going to win the Premier League. The Blues are going to win the Premier League, guys. We are going to win the BPL, guys. No doubt about it. But the thing is, the Premier League might be suspended because of the World Cup, apparently. I would rather the World Cup gets... I know the World Cup is internationally, like, a bigger competition and all that. But I would rather the World Cup... Like, not the Premier League gets suspended. But, sorry, guys. I'm kind of tired today. But... The Premier League might be taking a break or something like that. Something around those lines. Uh, something around those lines, guys. And I do not want that to happen. I'd rather the World Cup stop because this is our year to win the BPL. This is that also suck for CR7 because he's getting older. He's getting older. <laughs> so that was <laughs> that was suck for him, but he's not gonna win the BPL anyway. So it's not like it, you know what I'm saying. Cristiano Ronaldo is not gonna win the Barclays Premier League anyways. The Barclays Premier League is gonna go to Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea are gonna win the Barclays Premier League. No doubt about it. We're about to win the Barclays Premier League. So it's kind of robbery if this happens, guys. It's literally robbery if this occurs, guys. Hey, how are you? So good to see you. Bye. Good to see you guys. Really, really good to see you. Look at my neighbors, guys. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this will really suck if that happens, guys. Because what's it called? We are so um, we are so good like we're the best club in the world right now in my opinion if you guys saw my video last night um it was talking about how we're the best club in the world we are the best club in the world right now we're literally the best premier league club in the world right now we're the best bpl club in the world right now i've been playing video games all day literally all day guys I've literally been playing video games all day. Guys, it's not even funny. I've been playing video games all day. It is so cold out. It is so cold, guys. It's not even funny. It's really, 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 really cold. It's super duper duper cold, guys. It's not even funny. It is so cold. It's not even funny, guys. It is extremely cold out. It's extremely, extremely cold, guys. But, um, 
Yeah, hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue test week so far. Hope you guys are sharing in out your week. Hope you guys are susan knowing out your week. Corey Chelsea here with the video. Bleed Chelsea Blue. I'm calling myself Bleed Chelsea Blue too because I just love that channel. CFC channel fans. <laughs> I love those channels. But anyways, let's get into let's get into the topic guys um um yeah we are going to win the league guys there's no doubt about it and i want us to sign erling holland and i heard that we might be we might be signing delete delete would be an amazing signing let me first of all say we wouldn't have needed delete if we kept Zuma, let me just say that first of all. That was such a huge mistake selling Kurt Zuma. Kurt Zuma was such a huge mistake to be sold. And guys, like, comment, subscribe. Please like, comment, subscribe. I need, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Please like, comment, and subscribe on the video. I really, really, really need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Please like comment and subscribe on the video guys like comment and subscribe please 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 like comment and subscribe guys please like comment and subscribe but anyway delete delete is an outstanding center back he's better than zuma but i'm just saying that zuma was absolutely sensational Plus, we wouldn't have had to spend that much money on... We wouldn't ha have to spend that much money on Delete if we kept Zuma. And we could use that money for Erling Holland. Because Holland is who I really want. Delete would be absolutely amazing. But Holland is who I really want, guys. You know what I'm saying? If we had kept Zuma, everything would have been good. Then we signed Holland, then everything would be perfect. We could have also not used the Loma Lukaku money and we could have signed Erling Holland rather than freaking, you know, we could have signed Erling Holland rather than freaking Lukaku. And then we could have used delete money to and the, the Lukaku money for delete with like 30 million plus more, 40 million plus more. Um, so it's just like, I don't know. We could have signed Holland, but anyway, if we sign Holland, we'll have Holland and Lukaku, which will be two phenomenal strikers. So, and I'm not hating on Lukaku, guys. Let me tell you, Lukaku is sensational. I just think we need another striker. Like, telling Tammy Abraham wasn't the smartest move. Son Giroud wasn't the smartest move. But if we get Holland, that will make up for it. So... If we can somehow muster up enough money to get Delete and Holland, we're the real winners. Because we got Holland, Lukaku, and Delete. But that's a lot of money. I'm not saying we can't do it, but that's a lot of money. I honestly believe that we can muster up enough money to get all those players. I honestly believe so, guys. I honestly 110% believe so. Because if we get Holland and Delete, like, that's going to be insanity. Like, we would have been in a plus. We would be in a plus stage right now if we got Holland and Delete. I said Sherwood and Abraham are the same as um, Holland. I take that back. Holland, I'd rather have a quality player rather than two. Actually, I don't take that back because Abraham would freaking grow to be like how Lukaku is right now. Exactly how Lukaku is right now in a little bit. So it is the same thing. But Holland is such a revolutionary talent that he could be better than the young talent Abraham and Giroud. You know what I'm saying? The good player Giroud, how he is right now. You know what I'm saying, guys? So yeah that's that it's absolutely insane it is absolutely insane what is going on right now
But anyway, to fix all our problems, let's plast the cash heavy. This January transfer window on Holland and Delete. We were linked heavy to Holland last, 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 what's it called? Last summer. Like this summer, I should say. Well, last summer. The, 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 what's it called? The previous transfer window. We were so linked to freaking Holland, but it never happened. We got Lukaku and said, I wish we got Holland, but Lukaku is necessary. Lukaku is absolutely necessary. If we get Holland and Lukaku, that would be absolutely insane. And I would actually, I'm kind of a, a little bit, a tad bit, I would actually have Arling Holland rather than Abraham and Giroud. I'd rather have Erling Holland rather than Tammy Abraham and Olivia Giroud. I would honestly have Erling Holland rather than Tammy Abraham and Olivia Giroud. Much love and respect to everyone. Thinking about it a little bit more, I would rather, much rather have Erling Holland rather than Tammy Abraham and Olivia Giroud, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys are staying blue. Hope you guys are having a blue test week so far. Hope you guys are trying it out you week. Hope you guys are snowing out you week. Hope you guys are running and getting out you week. Seize up, baby. Tell us what for life. Seize up. I would rather have Holland than Olivia Giroud and Abraham, actually, to be honest with you. We we did good. We did good getting rid of Bakayoko, but I take that back. We need a backup striker. So I don't know why we got rid of Bak Bak um, Bachuawi. Bachuawi. I don't know why we got rid of Bachuawi, Michi Bachuawi. I honestly don't know why we got rid of Michi Bachuawi. Like, at first, I was like, yeah, let's get rid of Michi Bachuawi because he's not that good a striker. Let's get Abraham, keep Abraham and Giroud. But when we got rid of Giroud and Abraham, I would think that common sense and knowledge would say that, hey, we need a backup striker, so let's keep Bachuawi. I know Werner's a striker, but we need depth in the striking role, so let's keep Bachuawi. But now Bachuawi's left. He's at Bistich or something like that. Bistich, I think he's there, a Turkish club or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Bachuawi's gone. Who cares? Bachuawi was an average striker anyway. Like he was below. He was like below average. Like. He, he was like worse than Denver Ba was. But Bachuawi had some, some, some talent in him. He's old, well, he's not old. He's like 27, 26. He had some talent in him. But to be honest with you, I would have kept him since we sold Abraham and Giroud. But if it was, if we had Abraham, Giroud, and Abraham still, I would have kept Abraham and Giroud and so Bachuawi. You guys know what I said about Bachuawi before. I don't really see him being the quality of Chelsea Ball Club, but he could have been a good backup striker. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I don't call the shots here. I'm just a fan, but I know football. I know football literally so much. So what I say is 100% valid. But now that we've gotten rid of Abraham, Giroud, Bachuawi, let's get, that's how we have the transfer funds, by the way, plus UEFA Champions League. Let's get Holland and Delete, because we got rid of Zuma too. And I didn't want us to get rid of Zuma. Let's, let's get Holland and Delete, guys. Let's get Erling Holland and Delete, guys. Erling Holland and Delete. Let us get Erling Holland and Delete, guys. Erling Holland and Delete is who I want us to get, guys. Let us splash the cash on Erling Holland and Delete. Erling Holland first and foremost, and then Delete second and foremost. Like, if we get Erling Holland and Delete, that's going to be absolutely sensational, guys. You guys don't even know. I've been saying it time and time again. Let's get Erling Holland. Let's get Erling Holland. Let's get Erling Holland. Let's get Erling Holland. Please, the club, listen to me. I know my football. Let's get Erling Holland. Let's get Delete. 
I know it's going to be a lot of money, but I know we have the transfer funds for both of them. That's going to be a lot of money. I know. Let's get Erling Holland. Erling Holland is a revolutionary talent. Erling Holland is so good. Let's get Erling Holland. Let's get Delete. Please, please, please. Let's get both of those strikers. I mean, both of those players. Erling Holland. Imagine if we had Erling Holland and Lukaku. Our strike force would look with Werner too. Our strike force would look just like Atletico Madrid's. Let's get Erling Holland, guys. With Lukaku, that's going to be insane. Lukaku already is an amazing striker, but if we got Erling Holland, that's going to be sick. And as soon as I heard the rumors of us getting delete, I jumped, guys. I jumped out the roof. I jumped out the roof because delete is such a phenomenal center back. It's not even funny, guys. I jumped out the roof with joy. Man. I was elated. I was elated. Now, we all know the referees in the Italian Syria are lenient. The referees in the Italian Syria are lenient. So, you guys might be thinking, Oh, Koi. Hey, sir. How you doing? Oh, Koi. Delete isn't going to be able to, uh, to, 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 to handle stern stern referees in the Premier League because we all know Italian Serie A referees are lenient. Sergio Ramos would be able to get away without getting a red card in the Italian Serie A. Sergio Ramos would be able to get away. Pepe would be able to get away without getting a red card in the Italian Serie A. The Italian Serie A referees are extremely lenient. So you guys are thinking, Delete, come on, guys. We have Thomas Tuchel, and Delete is 22 years old. Delete will be the best defender in the world if he joins Chelsea Football Club. He's already going to be a legendary defender. He's going to do what Varane couldn't do. And since Varane went to Man United, he's not going to be the best defender in the world anymore. If he stayed at Real Madrid, he would have been one of the best defenders in the world. But since... But since Varane, since Varane went to Manchester United, he's not going to be one of the best anymore. It's so cold where I am, guys. He's not going to be one of the best defenders in the world anymore. I know they took out Real Ferdinand's jersey, but he went to the wrong club. Just like CR7 went to the wrong club. Um, yeah, he's not going to be one of the best defenders in the world anymore. But... Italian Syria referees are very lenient. We all know that. But with Delete on the Tucho, he's going to be the best defender in the world. Him and Christensen. Well, Christensen, him and Christensen are going to be amongst the best defenders in the world. Delete is going to be the best defender in the world, though. Christensen, what's it called? Christensen, <laughs> Christensen is going to be up there, too, with the best defenders in the world. Actually, Christensen or Delis is going to be the best defender in the world. Christensen or Delis is going to be the best defender in the world. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. In my Chelsea career mode, I actually have both of those players. And I have Holland. So let's do what we did in my Chelsea career mode. I have Holland and Delis. <laughs> So let's do what we did in my Chelsea career mode and sign Holland and delete. And I signed those players for around the same fee. I signed Holland for like 220 million pounds. And I signed delete for 130 million pounds, 150 or 70 million pounds. So let's do what I did in my career mode, guys. But for real, guys, let us sign Holland and delete. You guys are thinking Italian Syria referees are lenient. The Italian Syria referees are lenient. The Italian Syria, it's okay. Tuchel, Tuchel, well, what's it called? Tuchel, <laughs> Tuchel, well, what's it called? Thomas Tuchel, well, what's it called? Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel will train delete. 
Thomas Tuchel will train delete to learn the Premier League ways, guys. And Delete will be used to the stern, hard refereeing of the Premier League. Because the referees in the Premier League, they don't, they don't what's it called. They don't take no crap. You know what I'm saying? If it's a red card, it's a red card. If it's a red card, it is a red card. You know what I'm saying? But in the Italian Serie, if it was like a slight red card, they'll be like, okay, we'll give you a yellow card and we'll just wait a little bit. But in the Premier League, you can't get away with nothing. In the BPL, you can, and I'm not saying the Premier League's like been better than the BPL. That's just how the Italian Serie A referees ref. Obviously, last year, the Italian Serie A had better players than the Premier League and whatnot. And the Italian Serie A and the BPL have been half and half with who's the better player. And obviously, Italy is a way better national team than England is. And Italy beat England in the Euros. So... I'm just saying the refereeing style is way more lenient in the Italian Serie A. You know what I'm saying? The refereeing style is a lot more lenient in the Italian Serie A. The refereeing in the Italian Serie A is absolutely lenient as crap. The refereeing is a lot more lenient in the Italian Serie A. A lot more lenient in the Italian Serie A. The refereeing in Italian Syria is so lenient, it's not even funny. The refereeing in the Italian Syria is a lot more lenient, it's not even funny. The Italian Syria refereeing is so much more lenient, it's not even funny. The Italian Syria refereeing, let me tell you, that refereeing is as lenient as it gets. I'm just telling you right now. The Italian Serie A refereeing is so lenient, it's not even funny. But the Premier League refereeing, that's true. that refereeing is true. And Delete has so much football knowledge that he'll, he'll, he'll adapt, he'll adapt. But under Thomas Tuchel, he'll adapt like that. Thomas Tuchel will train him like that. Because them BPL referees, they do not care. They BPL, well, they do care. Let me take that back. They do care so much so that... They care so much so that they'll give out the cards like that, like how it's supposed to be. But the Italian Serie referees, they're sweet. They're sweet referees, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Miss Blackweather. It's so good. Hey, Theo. Hi, Theo. Can I pet Theo? But yeah, the Italian, that's my neighbor. That's one of my bestest friends ever, Miss Blackweather. Hi, Theo. Hi, Theo. You got your arm hooked. I'm sorry. I know. You got your arm hooked. So you have to come Hi, a little Theo. closer. Yep, hold your hand like that. Let him smell it. Yeah, there you go. Hi, oh, Theo. Yep. You can pet him. Yeah, guys. Yes. This is one of my bestest friends. This black brother. Yes. She has such an adorable dog. If you hold your hand underneath like that, yep, he likes to smell it so he can see what you're about to do. So if he doesn't know you, he's like, I'm scared oh, to let you pet me. I'm just checking you out. <laughs> That's him. For, there you go. Yeah. He's so cute. He is. That's he's like so the cutest soft, dog I've ever seen in my life. I know. He's precious. He is very he's precious. He's so cute. That's the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life. He's Yes, he is. Bye, Miss Blackweather. So good seeing you. So great seeing you, Miss Blackweather. But as I was saying, guys, Delete is going to get used to the normal. Let me call it normal refereeing because the Italian Serie A referees are just so sweet. It's not even funny. The Italian Serie A referees are so sweet. Hey, how are you doing, man? <laughs> The Italian Serie A referees are so sweet and kind, it's not even funny. The Italian Serie A referees are so sweet, it's not even funny. Like, the Italian Serie A referees are super duper sweet. The Italian Serie A referees are super duper sweet. But Delete, 
But you guys get the gist. The BPL referees are stern. The Italian serial referees are sweet. La Liga referees, they're mediocre. They're stern and sweet. You know what I'm saying? They're stern and sweet. It's just that Ramos is crazy and he got red cards all the time because freaking Ramos, freaking, you know, Ramos is crazy. Sergio Ramos is crazy. And he got red cards all the time because, you know, because, you know, he's Sergio Ramos.